Hello Pisces, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection, how you feel about each other, and where it's all headed in the near future. All right, let's jump right in for Pisces spirit. For Pisces in love. Spirit, what does Pisces need to know about this connection? Let's look at how the mutual energy is between you. What's going on between you? Spirit, give me some insight into what's going on in this connection. For Pisces, please. What's going on in this connection between Pisces and their person? Pisces, as always, this is a general love reading. So it will not resonate with every Pisces watching. Please take what resonates for you and applies to your situation and leave the rest. And check out my playlist for P Pisces if you want to see more videos for your sign. It'll be listed in the description box. Page of Wands and Judgment. Hmm. So right away, the first message I'm getting is um, some sort of communication about a past situation. Maybe a conversation about someone who has made a judgment call of some sort. Let's see. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands here? Page of Swords. So yeah, this is definitely a conversation. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Strength, Leo energy. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or an air sign. So with strength here, it's almost like someone's trying to regain control of a situation. Um, that's really what the strength card is about. It's kind of getting control back, but without using force. You're using your inner strength to do that. Tell me more about strength. It could also be courage, but I'm just not picking that up strongly. Tell me about strength. The star. Yeah, this is about healing. This, that's what I'm kind of getting here. Aquarius energy. This is about healing, renewal, definitely with the star and judgment. Tell me about judgment, spirit. What's this judgment? Ten of swords. Yeah, I feel like this is about a past ending or some sort of... Um, past cycle that was difficult here in this connection oh and then we have justice yeah this is about regaining balance libra energy making things right it could also be a final decision of some sort with justice and judgment can i get one more for judgment seven of swords six of cups this is about the past Something happened in the past here that maybe wasn't the best idea or um, I don't know. With the Seven of Swords and, and Six of Cups, you could have been deceived. There could have been deception here. Oops. <laughs> and this affected a connection, a strong connection with the Six of Cups. Could even be like a soulmate type of connection. And I feel like someone wants to kind of restore balance here. death so there was an ending here between you and this person most likely but it could also be an ending that someone else either you or this person Pisces are making happen right now specifically because judgment is here and judgment is right before the world and I have the fool at the bottom of the deck so if there was an ending in the past and someone is still dealing with it and wanting to renew it fix it now or if there's an ending that someone needs to do or an, you know, an, an end of a cycle that needs to happen be, you know, either for you or for this person, regardless of which side you're on, the outcome is the same. A new beginning, either a new beginning with a situation that already ended or a new beginning now that something has ended. I hope that makes sense. So let's like dig into how you're feeling about each other. Spirit, tell me more about Pisces and this other person's energies. 
Give some insight into Pisces and this other person's energies, please. Tell me about Pisces. Tell me about Pisces. So we have wishing well for you. Wish, desire, request. Your wish is being granted. Pisces, I have you on one side. I have your person on the other. But feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Tell me about this person that Pisces is dealing with. What are their energies? Coming together, restoring balance. Yes, well, that's kind of what I've been saying this whole time. <laughs> this is about restoring balance. This is about a resolution of some sort. Harmony being restored. And it's regarding a connection. Coming back together here. Let me jump into you. I'm going to be using one deck for you and then a different deck for your person. Let's use this one for you. Tell me about Pisces. Tell me about Pisces. Right, what is Pisces thinking or feeling when it comes to this connection? Or to this person. Yeah, the three of wands. Three of pentacles. I feel like you're waiting for something to come together here or waiting to work together with someone. Waiting to build something. The sun. Hmm. So something here would make you very happy. I feel it's getting your wish. Oh, the fool. Okay, so having this new start, this new beginning is probably what would make you very happy here. Sorry about the light change. There are the clouds are going crazy outside. Okay, tell me about this. Um, hold on. Tell me about this three of pentacles, please. Three of pentacles here. What's this about? Knight of swords. Knight of cups. I feel like you're waiting to hear from someone, like waiting to hear an apology or the truth from someone. I don't know if a third person is involved. Can I get one more for the Three of Pentacles, please? Nine of Cups. Yeah, this this is what would make you very happy. I feel like this is your wish is to hear from this person. Maybe you want to hear that you you know that they want to work on this with you, put in uh, energy or effort into this connection. Tell me about the sun. Why is the sun here? Yeah, you. This balance being restored, things being you know balanced and equal and fair to you. I feel like this is your wish. This would make you happy. Tell me about the sun. And judging by what's on your person's side right now, I feel like your wish most likely is going to be granted here. Yeah, Knight of Pen or Page of Pentacles. I feel that there is an offer coming in here. Um, I have the Page of Swords, Page of Wands, and the Star. So, you know, the Justice card is here as well, along with Judgment. So I feel like if your person is reaching out to communicate, it's to talk about this. And I think it's going to make you very happy. Like you're going to be really happy with this message or this outcome or, you know, this person's actions. Let's jump into your person's energy. Spirit, tell me more about this person that Pisces is dealing with at this time. Tell me more about this person that Pisces is dealing with at this time. What can you tell me? Oh, wow. We have Aquarius. This is the star. So we have the star again. So either this is a uh, person that has Aquarius in their chart, or again, this is about healing, hope, renewal, faith. I feel like that's what this person wants to do. I, I mean, it's just... All over the all over this reading we'll see more when we 
pick the tarot out for them. Tell me more about what this person's thinking or feeling when it comes to Pisces. I wasn't ready and I feel trapped. I wasn't ready and I feel trapped. Interesting. I miss you at the bottom of the deck. So maybe that's why whatever happened between you happened. They weren't ready for a real thing. They weren't ready for a good thing. And hearing that they miss you does not surprise me because I don't think you're together with this person because they want to come together. Tell me more. Let's look more at your person's energy here. Tell me more about this person's energy. What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Pisces? What are they thinking or feeling spirit? We have the hangman, page of pentacles. Did I put those back? Right, okay. Tell me more about this person. Two of wands. So with the hangman, I feel like, you know, this I feel trapped is probably because there is something they're tied to here. Then we have the chariot at the bottom of the deck, Cancer Energy. I feel like this person definitely wants to move towards the right path here, the path that leads to success. So I have the Two of Wands here. I really hope that they're not having to choose between two people, but it would not surprise me with this trapped energy that came out here. Tell me about the hangman. Let's start there. Why is the hangman here? Here. Seven of Wands, King of Cups. There's obstacles ahead, some sort of challenge. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this person has to decide. To move. To communicate. The Lovers. Interesting. I feel like this person has a choice to make. Um, and I'm really hoping it's not between two people. Although I think you had a reading like that recently, Pisces. Gemini energy with the lovers. It's almost like there's a partnership that's an obstacle here. Or whatever is keeping this person stuck, it's affecting this connection. Tell me about the seven of wands. Can I get one more? Five of Wands. Oh, yeah, there's definitely some conflict here. Sort of drama. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. I feel like this is part of restoring balance. It's almost like um, this person really has to make something work in order to have success. Six of Wands. We have the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. So there's some sort of burden here for your person. And I feel it's going to be different for all of you. So why the Two of Wands? Why the Two of Wands? What's this about? Judgment. Tell me more about the Two of Wands. Page of Wands. Yeah. This person has to choose to uh, begin again here to communicate with the Page of Wands. I feel like they want a second chance here. Yeah, there's fear for some reason. So maybe they are wondering if you will be open to this. I feel like whatever this choice is, there are consequences for your person. Because there's the five of wands here, some sort of drama, conflict here. And I feel like it's tied to that decision because I have the two of pentacles here. 
And then even here in this particular deck, the Seven of Wands, it's like someone's about to like climb a really big mountain. But your person, I feel, is in love. King of Cups, the lovers, motivated to bring something into balance and make some sort of move here with the Eight of Wands. Tell me about this Eight of Wands. Why is this Eight of Wands here? Four of Pentacles. Can you get one more for this Eight of Wands? Knight of Swords. So this is about some sort of clarity, truth, telling you the truth, probably something about the past five of cups and the sun here at the bottom of the deck. They've been holding on to some sort of truth. And now it's like they want to tell you this. And I feel like this is important in order to restore the balance of this connection. And I feel like the sun came out here. This is like part of it. It's like you want to hear this from your person. I have the Knight of Swords for you, Knight of Swords here. They just got to like make that decision and become unstuck with wherever they are. It didn't really come out here what it was, but I mean, it could be another partnership, like I said, but it's not very like crystal clear. So I feel like it's going to be different for all of you. So where's all of this headed? I'm going to pick a couple of cards. All right, Spirit, where's all of this headed for Pisces and this other person? What's next for this connection? What's next? Temperance again. Sagittarius energy. What's next for this connection? Something's coming into balance here. Two of Cups. Wow. Beautiful. This is about a partnership. What's next? Four of Swords. So there is, I feel, with Temperance and the Four of Swords, I don't think this is going to happen quickly. This Four of Swords is making me think of the Hangman. So it's almost like there is some sort of hesitation or block here or some sort of delay because someone at this time is probably not really moving much. Probably because they need to make that choice. And I feel like this choice is tied to this ending here, the death card and the Ten of Swords that came up. But I feel like this is a very special connection. I feel like whatever is coming together is something very beautiful. And I think it's going to make you very happy, Pisces. I think this is exactly what you were hoping for. Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Pisces. If you enjoyed the reading, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. It really helps the channel grow. It shows people more of these videos and tells YouTube that people are still watching this channel. Um, I appreciate everyone that does that. Um, feel free to leave me a comment if this resonated or you just want to say hello. Thank you so much for watching once again, and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.